Chapter Two: Why Monkeys Live in Trees. Many years ago, the king of the jungle was a gorilla named Nalish. All the animals wanted to marry his daughter, but she didn't know who to choose. One day, Nalish spotted a big wooden barrel sitting on the grass. That's new. He said and looked inside. Ooh, what's that? Rum. The barrel was full of greasy water. Nalish took a sip. It tasted of fire. Fire water? He said that might be useful. Nalish took the barrel home and called the other animals together. I have a barrel of fire water. He said, and it will help us decide who's to marry my daughter. Whoever can drink the whole barrel may have my beautiful daughter as his bride. The animals were very excited. Everyone wanted to try. They pushed and shoved closer to the barrel, but the elephant got there first. Out of my way! I'm first, big bully. Just watch, this will be easy," he boasted. The elephant dipped his trunk into the barrel. He sucked up some fire water and sneezed. Achoo! Oh! He snorted, spraying water everywhere. It stings. No one could drink that, and he rushed off. The hippopotamus tried next. I live in the water and drink water all the time. I live in the river and drink water all the time. He said, "I'm not scared of a bit of fire water." So he took a big mouthful, ah, and almost choked. He spat out the fire water and ran to the river to cool his mouth. Next, the war dog stepped forward. I can eat or drink anything, he bragged. No problem. He drank from the barrel and coughed. Ah, that's horrible, he shouted. Yike! What fools you are! cried a voice. It was the leopard, and you're all far too arch ugly to marry the king's daughter. I'm handsome, and I shall drink the water. He stepped up to the barrel and just as quickly stepped back again. Even the smell of the fire water made him feel sick. The other animals laughed at the leopard. And he crept away in shame. Then a little voice piped up, "Please, Nalish, may I try the water?" It was a tiny monkey. The animals stared at him. How could he drink the water? Nalish smiled. "You can try if you want," he said. "But you must drink all the water and finish it today." I don't want a single drop left. May I drink a little at a time with rests in between? Asked the monkey. Nalish was a fair king, of course, he said. So, the tiny monkey climbed onto the barrel. The other animals gathered around, grinning. This was going to be fun. I. Tlinga shall drink the water and marry Nalish's daughter, but the monkey seemed very sure of himself. The monkey gulped a large mouthful of the fire water, then ran off into the bushes. It tastes disgusting. Where's he going? The other animals wondered. After a few moments, the monkey was back. He climbed up the side of the barrel, took another gulp of fire water, 
and ran up to the bushes just as he'd done before. But Tlinga, the monkey, had a secret. He wasn't alone. Behind the bushes sat a whole tribe of monkeys who all looked exactly the same. Tee hee hee, ha ha ha. Each monkey took turns to drink some of the burning fire water. By the end of the day, the barrel was empty. The other animals were astonished. Nalish's daughter is mine. Now I shall meet my bride, said Tlinga proudly. The monkey stood before the old gorilla. Well done, said Nalish. You have completed the task. You may marry my daughter. But his daughter didn't seem too pleased. Didn't look too pleased. I've got to marry him. Oh, my lovely bride. Suddenly, the giraffe gave a shout. He had seen something interesting. Hey, he cried. There's a whole tribe of monkeys hiding in the bushes. What are you up to? Tlinga cheated, roared the animals. His friends have helped him. The monkeys didn't wait to hear any more. They ran off, leaping into the trees to be out of reach. We'll get them for this. Monkeys have lived up in trees ever since. They are much too scared to calm down. The end.